everyone. Hi, Miss Pia. Hello, Miss Pia. Let's pick the number of your judge who will ask you your question for tonight. It's judge number two, Ma'am Jenny Rose Mariano. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Ma'am. Okay. Is tell us a specific challenge you experienced as a transgender and how did you overcome it? Thank you. Thank you for that very interesting question. Well, to the LGBTQ community and I as a transgender woman, the very common problem that we are facing in our society is, of course, discrimination. That is the main problem that I experience personally as a transgender living in this world. And how did I overcome it? I took those criticisms from other people as a motivation for me to do something good for uh, for our world I turn my weaknesses into strength and do something for me to change it and for me to recover from it ladies and gentlemen I believe that in whatever situation and whatever rejection that we are facing let us all remember that the best thing that we must do is to remember that the best thing that we can contribute to the world is to be optimistic and to be positive love yourself and believe in yourself because by that we will be able to to overcome every problems and every criticisms that we have so that we should put into our minds and in, it will let us put into our minds and into our hearts that our own opinion and our own expression as a person should be valid thank you very very much hello congratulations for making it to the top five Miss Loisa. Miss okay. Loisa, can you, you pick the sure. number of the judge? Number of the judge. Okay. Judge number five. You have picked Honorable Counselor Zobi Tulio. Hello, Paul. It's glad to pick you. Hello, good, good morning. Good morning, Dean Po, and thank you so much for choosing me one of the top five. Thank you so much. Ito yung question ko sa'yo, no? Uh, what would you sacrifice to be successful and why? What would you sacrifice to be successful and why? Marahil, maraming maraming salamat po sa isang napakagandang katanungan. Hindi ko po kayang sagutin ng isang katanungan na naayon po sa inyong mga opinion. Ngunit hayaan niyo pong sagutin ko po ito na naayon sa aking opinion na nanggaling sa aking puso, isip, at nararamdaman. At ang katanungan ay umiindaig sa gitnong pamamaraan. Anong araw po ba ang kaya kong isacrifice para sa successful o sa tinatawag natin tagumpay. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, kapag sinabi po natin successful, hindi po ito pinaghihirapan. Bakit? Marahil mula ang mga tao ngayon kung ano ba ang tunay na tinatawag natin successful. Aking pong sasabihin, ang tunay na successful ay hindi po nakikita sa corona, kayamanan, magagandang bahay. Bakit? Meron ka nga magandang bahay, pero hindi ka naman masaya. Meron ka nga boyfriend na pogi, pero hindi ka naman masaya. Hindi po ayon matatawag na ikaw ay successful sa buhay. Dahil ang tunay na successful, ayon ay kontento ka kung ano ang meron ka. Dahil lagi nating pakakatandaan, mahirap ka man, mayaman ka man, kung kontento ka kung anong meron ka, well definitely, you are successful. At bilang isang tao, wala po akong isa sacrifice. Ang tanging gagawin ko lang po ay makontento ako sa buhay na ibinigay sa akin. At higit sa lahat, magpapasalamat ako. Because always remember that what you do to yourself 
dies with you. But what you do to others remains in eternal life. Sa Tagalog, kung ano ang ginawa mo sa sarili mo, ayun ay para sa'yo. Pero kung ano ang ginawa mo sa ibang tao, ito ay mananatili habang buhay. Salam! Pick your judge number, Miss Dimples. morning attorney to the all panel board of judges. Thank you for picking me as one of the five semi-finalists. Thank you po talaga. So, here it goes. If you would be given a chance to legalize something that is illegal, what would that be and why? If I would go in to legalize one thing in this world or in our country or in the whole world, and what would it be? Legalize something that is illegal. It is very hard for me to choose among those illegal things. Dahil alam naman po natin na kapag gumawa tayo ng illegal, isa lamang pong kahihilat na natin ang sementeryo o ang kulungan. Now, if I were given a chance to legalize one thing, I myself is a product of Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. Last 2016, to be honest, nakulong po ako because I committed crimes. And I definitely observe kung ano po ang mga illegal na pwede naman nating illegal pagdating ng araw. Some people say that we will go into legalize marijuana dahil ang marijuana daw po ay nakakagamot. Sabi nga nila, Pwede daw po natin illegal ang marijuana dahil sa pamamagitan nito may mga uncurable na sakit na malulutas ng dahil dito. But for me, I don't usually know that I don't usually say that I would go into legalize drugs, but instead I will legalize the killing of people. Why do I say so? I do respect I'm in front of the church. But ladies and gentlemen, try to think of this. Marami po ang magsasabing bakit mo ililigal ang pagpatay eh nandun po yun sa sampung utos ng Diyos but how would you ever observe those innocent people who are crying na pinapatay at walang kalaban-laban sa mga taong tumapatay sa kanila it is better to kill those people who are doing bad things rather than to kill those people who are innocent enough who wants only to live in this world I would definitely not all of one of us will definitely um, kill anyone, but instead, there's what we call killing of people by the pursuance of law. Because I always believe, ladies and gentlemen, the Latin word, haga as loke, haga as por soy. Siempre espejo reflecta iyo manana. Or it only means one thing whatever you do for today should always be the mirror and reflection of your tomorrow. So if I would legalize killing of people by law, I firmly believe, ladies and gentlemen, those criminals who are committing mistakes and killing those innocent people will definitely be afraid of doing bad things. Ladies and gentlemen, sabi nga po nila, marami daw po tayong pwedeng illegal dito sa mundo. But for me, I believe that I would definitely um, legalize that's what we call killing of people by means of our Department of Justice. Because I firmly believe, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, everyone will definitely benefit the outcome of what we call killing of that people. For example, um, I was six years old. Six years old yata po ako. Noong naiere sa television yung pagpatay by means of lethal injection kay Echigaray. Uh, I don't think if I'm six, six years old. But ladies and gentlemen, try to think of this. Pinatay si Echigaray hindi dahil kagustuhan lamang ng taong pumatay dahil pinatay si Echigaray dahil gumawa siya ng mali doon sa mga taong walang kalaban-laban sa kanya. Lagi po natin tatandaan ang respeto sa bawat isa, ang pagmamahal sa bawat isa, ang peace
pinaka-importanting pundasyon para magkaroon tayo ng mapayapang bansa. Maraming salamat po. You only have two there. Fortune, ala, may nagas. Can we proceed? Can we? Are we good? Okay, okay. Okay, good. Excuse mo na ako mga anak ha. Sorry. Okay. Judge number three. Yeah. We have... Ma'am Charmaine Aguila. Ma'am Charmaine. Hi, ma'am. Let's Hi, good do... good evening. Good evening, ma'am. <laughs> I'm composing myself <laughs> to come in the middle of some of the um, chaotic um, instances. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Here's you so my much. question. Uh, does a woman sacrifice more than a man? <laughs> really? That's the question. Does the does a woman sacrifice more, more than, than a man? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, honorable panel. Thank you very much for um, choosing me as the, uh, one of the top five. I'm really emotional right now because um, at this instance of time, um, my, when my father passed away, who happens to be a retired soldier last May 21, 2019, uh, that was a big challenge to ourselves. So from that question all alone, uh, does a woman sacrifice more than a man? I would be standing here in front of you without the wound of a woman who have asked me at this very point of time. I won't be standing here with this wisdom without uh, somebody who have nurtured me from the psychomotor period, etc. and things that I have done before. I won't be standing here without something that have inspired me to be who I am and just to be true because my father who have passed away told me you are a big disgrace to the family because you are a gay and it has nothing to do with you you will not become successful but my mother have always sacrificed to say no you don't have to say anything against especially in the future he or she will be emotionally disturbed and that trauma is different I would say yes a woman I am sorry from the man for the man over here a man is a good provider but definitely a a woman is an emotional provider who creates the house on how a certain human being should be in the near future. Because everybody knows that not because a mother has that soft side, it isn't. Could you just imagine we're 11 in the family, I'm second from the oldest, my mother have bared the child, how many of us 11? And then all of us are going to school, that's the different thing. And that's the first denotation of my mind that I would like to be a woman, then I help. I sacrifice also because I have the heart of a woman. Then joining beauty pageant, maybe other people would be discriminating me. I said, I feel like a woman because a woman's heart is always forgiving, helping, and above all, in the most perfect level, she will always sacrifice. And dami nga dito, lagi sinasabi, hindi naman, iiwanan ko yan. But then again, I'm just so humble to say enough that regardless of the sexuality of God, over and over again, my salute and definitely my homage to all the women out here. Salute to all of you for sacrificing. There will be no beautiful judges, candidates, and our host without the enormous miraculous wound that is given to us by God. So I should say, to be fair enough, please, wag pong magalit ang mga kalalakihan Pero tandaan nyo, ano't ano pa man, ang babae ang kauna-unahang magsasakripisyo, mahina ang puso, ngunit malakas manindigan. Thank you. There you go, college one, Sir Ryan Acosta. Hi, good morning. Can you number 10? Good morning, folks. So, here's your question. 
if you were to go back in your childhood and have the chance to talk with your young, with your younger self or to younger self, what would you tell her? So let me repeat the question. If you were to go back in your childhood and have the chance to talk to your younger self, what would you tell her? Given the opportunity to go back to my childhood, the only thing that I would tell to my younger self is pursue your studies. The girl standing in front of you is already studying for almost 10 years now in college. And I am kind of sad because my parents are OFWs and they are working there for almost 20 years now. I know the struggle of them living far from their children and, you know, not you cannot hug us physically but that would nothing that I would tell but this is a fact the girl standing in front of you may suffer from that years of learning but September 16 I will be graduating and this is the best gift that I will give to my parents and I know that there is live right there and I just want to shout out to my parents hi and you know how much I love you mom and dad thank you for caring thank you for all your sacrifices thank you for everything that you have done for me I know that it is not easy to live far from us from your children but then again to September 16 I will give you a piece of paper and I will be proud to say na ma, tai, kay graduate na po ako maraming salamat po